We're conducting MGS uh, gunnery, which is a collective crew training and qualification on the mobile gun system platform. Qualifying means for the crews that they've demonstrated the ability through uh, crew coordination and fire control manipulation to uh, put rounds downrange on target. So uh, for a crew to qualify, they must achieve a minimum of seven out of 10 engagements total day and night uh, qualified with a total of 700 points or better. The mobile gun system's role is to support the assault infantry uh, by providing direct fire capabilities to, uh, say, uh, an infantry platoon on the ground. Uh, we have the ability to provide long-range direct fire on uh, buildings, bunkers, fixed fortifications. Uh, we could provide long-range machine gun fire uh, for the infantry platoon on the ground, uh, as opposed to a striker which is more of a uh, personnel carrier. It's utilized primarily to get the infantry squad from point A to point B and then provide a, a, a support by fire. Whereas we can go up and eliminate that threat uh, prior to the squad getting onto the objective. of carrying almost 4,000 rounds of ammunition, including four types of 105 millimeter tactical ammo, the M1128 Striker mobile gun system is lighter and faster than a tank. It's also earning the respect of some tankers from 1st Battalion 17th Infantry Regiment who are manning the vehicle for the first time. But for what the MGS is designed for, what's meant to do, you're not going to get much better. Jordan and his newly formed crew completed sustainment gunnery with 117 at the Yakima Training Center in order to get all the MGS crews qualified. It may not sound that difficult, but when you have a brand new crew coming together to successfully operate and qualify on a piece of equipment they've never worked together on before, it can be a lot harder than expected. Sergeant Jordan, he said I'd either be a jobber by the time we left or I'd have a mental breakdown and I'm a driver, so. <laughs> Not only did this three-man crew have a new driver, but this was also Private First Class Sean Rowell's first time serving as gunner on the MGS. 
It's definitely a new experience, uh, pretty stressful, um, just because my uh, vehicle commander has high expectations, which is totally understandable. It was a great experience overall, especially for my first time shooting. It was rough at first, but like anything else, by the end of the gun, we were clicking pretty good. At the end of the day, the teamwork and experience paid off. After tallying the scores, the team came in second in their battalion. Reporting from the Yakima Training Center in Yakima, Washington, I'm Sergeant Wendy Hall with the 5th Mobile Public Affairs Detachment.